people to fire away. <laughs> Coach, you had a lot of young players last year. Um, talk about uh, the fact that you seem pretty excited about some of their offseason improvements and what this team can do as a whole. Well, they're, they're, they're older, and um, they're probably a little beyond their years just because of the amount of minutes that they played as freshmen. Um, we've seen good improvements in them, so that gives us some hope. And I think we've got better pieces. We've got more depth at the center spot. We've got more depth at the point guard spot. Um, I think this group has progressed, um, but we know that climb is still a tough climb. Coach, what do you know about the league you're in versus last year when you were in? Um, uh, well, I mean, we were familiar with the league before, so that, that wasn't that much good. It is different seeing it, you, you know, going through it. Um, 18 games was a switch the league made a couple years ago. That is a very difficult grind, but we knew that coming in. Um, the physicality of the league was something that wasn't, uh, we, did, we expected it. Um, our young group just, quite honestly, got thrown in the fire. And uh, when you start three freshmen and you're playing a bunch of freshmen, you, you have some lumps. So um, I, I like the way we fought through it. I, li I thought we ended the season better than we started, and hopefully we can uh, uh, carry that forward to this year. You were outsized a lot last year in this league. With the freshmen that you have come in, do you feel like you've solidified that center and, and and post positions? It's better, but we're still going to be relying on a couple freshmen behind Lovings. And, um, but, you know, we go 6'6", six, six, Lovings go 6'3", we've got another 6'3". So it gives us better depth than we had a year ago, but it's still very young. And they're still learning to play every day. We worked out this morning, and um, there are good plays, and there are a lot of head shakers in there. Yeah, one of the top schedules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have one of the top schedules, and, and uh, um, I, you know, that'll, I think, prepare us. You know, last year was such a, even a grind throughout the year that we really didn't, we weren't really able to um, play depth. I mean, Medley had to play 35 minutes from the start of the year. Lovings had to play 35. I hope that we've progressed enough that there are some games in here where uh, we can add some depth in this non-conference because I think we're going to need it when we get lead play. One of those people is, is bringing in uh, Standish uh, to help out at the point guard position. What has she brought to the team so far? Well, she's not eligible till next year. Oh, okay. So, so um, but she gives you a top point guard that's going up against Medley every day, and uh, that is something that she's a super competitive kid. So um, that has made Medley better every single day. I thought their workouts individually um, were as good as any point guard workouts I'd had over my 20 years as a coach, and it was directly related to the fact that those two competed against each other. And then you've also got AJ, the freshman, yep. who you can utilize along with Medley in the lineup this year. Talk about how you plan to do that or how they will mix together. Yeah, we're taking a look at Medley at the two. Um, I think it looks uh, good at times. We're also using Hamilton in that role. Um, we I still like the way Vasia gets to the rim, and she's such a great passer. There just aren't very many physical guards. This is as good a depth at the point guard spot as I've had at my time at TCU. Um, one of them still sitting out, but I would say that even with the group we have this year, um, we're looking at how all those pieces fit together. I think Medley, we've got to get her as many shots as we can get her. And if we've got to ice her arm down after each game, we'll ice her arm down after each game. For us, it'll be just like the playoffs right now. You gotta be able to pitch on three days rest and you gotta be able to shoot 33s a game, so. On defense, with with a little bit more size, do you think you'll be have the um, the ability to mix it up a little bit more than you did last year? Uh, I hope so. I hope so. Um, rebounding is still my biggest concern with that because while we're bigger, um, centers coming, particularly young centers, don't chase rebounds. They just you know they get rebounds because they're bigger and taller, and that just isn't how you rebound in high, uh, college. But um, I think we'll be able to mix it up some. I've liked our rebounding. We've got one scrimmage under our belt. Um, we rebounded pretty solid there. We'll see how we, uh, our first exhibition is uh, next Monday, and I'm anxious to get back uh, under the lights and see how we play. What are, you, uh, what are you hoping to get out of the exhibition, Yeah, the upcoming exhibition? What are you looking for? Yeah, um, consistency. I think it, when you're this time of the year, you're trying to see which players are consistent every day, which players uh, you, know, you can trust. Uh, get your rotation as set as possible. Um, you know, right now there's still a few uh, spots that we're still trying to figure out where our rotation is at. Uh, I'd like to get that rotation at about nine. 
Um, we've got uh, 13 players that are fighting to get in that top nine right now. To, uh, the swing of things again? Yes, sir. We're so excited. We're excited to play Monday our first exhibition game, and we're just ready to get back on the court to show our talents that we, what we've been working on all summer and all this season. Coach was saying this is the best point guard and guard things he, uh, group he's had in a while. How has practices been um, different, more intense with the guards? We're basically getting at each other every every practice. Um, we're we're I think we're a lot physical too. Um, you know, he said uh, we have a lot of point guards, and we're trying to basically gel, like, gel together as a team. Run transition, you know, offense before the bees get down there. We're just trying to push the ball more. Patricia, talk about Clara being a 6'6 freshman post. I mean, I know you remember when you were a freshman. How has she been able to also make you better so far in practice this year? Um, she's making. She made me better just by being taller than I am. I mean, in the Big 12, I played a bit against Brittany Griner, against – the Iowa State Center, who's not there anymore, but she's made me better just her being there. Um, in practice last year, it was me and another center who was about the same height, so it didn't challenge me to score over a taller person. But Claire, being stronger, well, being strong as a freshman, she's helping me score over bigger people. So once conference starts, it'll help against other teams. How long did it take your team last year to get adjusted to the physicality and the speed of play in the Big 12, you know, once you got into conference play? I know out of conference play preps you for that a little bit, but, you know, doesn't that take some getting used to? I don't think it took that long, actually. I mean, we lost a lot of games, but they were between margins yeah. of four and five and ten points. So the only biggest loss that we had was against Baylor, really. So I really think the physicality of the Big 12, we didn't have to adjust to it. Like, we just adjusted to it as soon as we could. We got pushed and we pushed them back. And then later in the season, you guys had some pretty good success, especially you know in your last four, five, six games probably. You feel like that is something that you guys have built off of and carried that momentum into this season and into the off season? Of course, of course. Um, we're going into this season with the chip on our shoulder. We felt like we could have won a lot more games than two last year in conference play. So once season starts, we're playing with the intention to win the Big 12 or at least be in top five. And what are you hoping to get most out of this upcoming season um, as a team? As a team, I feel like we are, we just want to gel together. I feel like we are a very close team, and we want that off the court to reflect on the court. We're a very close team, and once we show on the court that we are a close team, I think we'll gel together, we'll play well together, and we'll have a great season. Having some other bigger players in this freshman year, do you think that will kind of open up some different options on the defensive side of the court that you all maybe didn't have last year? Yes, it will. Um, we practice plenty of defense, man, two, three, and a, a, we practiced it today. It was a, a 32, a triangle and two. And um, I feel like with Clara and Carol being the other two bigs, it's moved me out a little bit to help to play in the perimeter and defend into the perimeter. Can you and Clara play together? I mean, is that a lineup that you could foresee? Because that puts some really significant height on the floor for you all. You know, but one of you would have to probably move to the floor, the floor I'm guessing. Yes, we've practiced that since the first day of practice. I've been the four, Claire's been the five, and it's worked out pretty well.